All right, fans, looks like we're getting ready to get started with our compact feature here. I believe they're going to start bringing some compact cars out here momentarily. Is this just the regular build compacts, or are they light, heavy? Uh, they're they're like a semi-stock kind of, from what I could see. We, you'll get you'll get a shot of them here as they're coming out. Impact Derby Products intros here. Um, a lot of these guys have a like a heavier bumper on the front, but otherwise they're fairly stocked with a cage inside. Should be fun then. Going through the list here, we got the 22 Accordus Raker, the 2H Derek Hulesman. Uh, 44, Ross Tompkins. Another 44, Levi Hayes. Uh, 26H, Matthew Haler. R19, Zach Rhodes. 226, Dakota Dupong. 512, Cody Julius, who we heard from in the break. 1223, uh, Seth Rowcliffe. 31, Matt Nettemeyer. 28S, Chad Sexton, 40, Stephen Schaefer, 1122, Ryan Struble, 15, a Trent Albert, R30, Paul Reed, triple zero, Zachary Road, uh, Rowcliffe, 3H, Tyler Herman, 77, Shea Palmer, 32, Zach Reith, double zero, Cameron Otley, Triple X, David Mitchell, 23, Braden Heap, 120, Cameron Siegelin, Siegelkin, excuse me. T22, Trevor Jackson, 15C, William Cruz, 282, Mark McPeak. Looks like the J05, Joseph Fender, R3L, Dustin Landreth, J03, Joey Fender, 282, Mark McPeak. 21, Chris Rakers, 408, Jeremy Patton, and 413, Justin Patton. So a good amount of drivers out here for this compact feature, and it uh, looks like some uh, some family groups as well. we got the Pattons out there, the Rakers, the McPeaks, the Fenders. Uh, all have a couple of cars each. So. Gray area demo parts compact feature. Looks like they started to line up along the the back of the you know the side wall of the track. Now right. they're getting them straightened out the correct way here. So the other half, the, the rest of them must be at the other end because I know that you named lots more names than we see cars. Yeah, I think they're still making their way out of the pit area here. a pink panther nice little escort wagon there those those hold up pretty good yeah still got a full exhaust on it though look at that you don't see too many of them around anymore no Thank all of you that are joining us on Facebook. I want to say thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for providing this live look in. We're giving you a taste of the action here at Brownstown, Illinois. If you like what you're seeing, you can uh, join us on DerbyNation.tv. Subscribe to catch the, the whole event plus all of our on demand content. If you're catching this on Facebook and, and you are already one of our subscribers, maybe you just didn't know we were doing a show for you. Uh, if you're an existing subscriber to DerbyKeys.tv content, you, this show is free to you already. So uh, that's one of the benefits of being a subscriber. We try to do bonus stuff when we can. Otherwise, you have access to all of our video on demand library, all of our past shows, tech tips, top tens, product spotlights, driver interviews, all kinds of good stuff. So. Try to make it uh, interesting and try to keep it up to date with, with new product. There's the 627. I don't know that I had him on my list, so number just looks familiar to me. a bunch of Toyotas, a bunch of Luminas, and 
and a bunch of just odd mixed cars. Several. This ought to be interesting, and there's not a lot of pre runs I don't, I mean, some of them look like they might have been on the track once or twice, but not, but there's a lot of fresh. Yeah, mostly fresh. Right out. <laughs> Twelve twenty-three. The wagon. That's Seth Rocliffe. And those wagons, they tend to bend down in the back. Unfortunately. Even, even with that, the roof bent down like he has, it's probably still going to hunch backwards a little bit. But is that a Corsica four hundred eight? No, that's. It's older style Lumina. I haven't seen a Corsica in so long, I don't even know. I, w I didn't want to lie to you. Yeah, I love those cars. They, the backs have always just bent perfect for me. Really? Know, yeah. And nice and flat. That's probably why you don't see many of them anymore, Steve. Mm -hmm. want to remind fans, you can always uh, join us uh, by messaging the DTV Fan Chat Facebook page, sending a message or posting on the page. We'll do our best to hit you up or give you a shout out. And sometimes we'll ask for your help on things like who the driver is or whatever. You can post to that page, the DTV Fan Chat Facebook page, and we can, uh, can catch up with you there. About that track full. Any idea what this pays? Mm, I don't remember. Seven. Flyer says 700. Lumina coming in hot. <laughs> it's like maybe we got another one or two. We're gonna have a track full. Monte Carlo pulling in. Troy Hodap says hi. Hi, yeah. Troy. Yeah, say hi to you too. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, Steve, you got to get ready and pick one. That's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Let it run down about halfway, okay. and then maybe I'll pick one. How about the odds? Yeah. But he knows. He knows that I, I won't pick until it's done. Right. Yeah. They don't even do a countdown. They just throw the green flag. Green flag. Shot there. Looking Once again, live on Facebook, thanks to Jeffy's Fat Farm. Giving you the live look in here at the action of Browntown, Illinois. If you like what you're seeing, join us on DerbyNation.tv. Subscribe for the event, plus all of our on demand contact.
Red flag on the track. Shambliss welding red flag. Some drivers haven't seen it. They're still battling it out while they're trying to throw, throw flags and stop cars. We have fire or we have debris on the track, or both. If they're stopping for debris, we're going to have a lot of those. We are going to have a lot of those. Apparently back to green. with a good shot on the wheel. Bent the strut over. The more I look at that red 408, the more I think it is. It's a trunk back course event. Some of them had trunks, some of them had hatches. I'm pretty sure that red floor only Right, the trunk but trunk. like what, early 2000s or it Would have been like a 90? 98 or something like that. Larry Clausen tuning in. Crash 603 watching. Tony Dunphy watching as well. Thanks, guys, for tuning in with us. Larry Clossing says good luck to Donnie Marr and Terry Colehouse. Terry, I think, is driving the uh, uh, special needs children car, the, the seen, puzzle, puzzle pieces yeah, car. Yeah, I've seen that picture of that. That looks really cool. Yeah. GH Graphics red flag for a bumper. Are they from the Pinckneyville area, the Colehouse? I, th I think so, but I'm not certain. Demo Parts Compact feature back underway. comes the 40 looking for a shot on the maybe the 22. million red flags <laughs> and counting NLR Derby Parts you can check out the website nlrderbyparts.com somebody climbing out of the triple zero working in the engine department doing something As long as they're not getting burned, I guess it's okay, right? Adrenaline is a crazy thing. It you know? is. I realize after the fact that they get burned, you know? Right. Green flag, here we go.
blue and black celebrity style wagon. It's looking pretty good, but um, I don't know how aggressive he's been, but it is yeah. holding up pretty good. Didn't do much for a bumper on the front of that thing, and I don't know if it's a four or a six, but if it's a six cylinder, the coil packs are on the front side of the engine. Oh. You don't get a lot of, a lot of uh, compression there before things start to short out. Right. If you're uh, tuning in on Facebook, we've still got more action still to come. They still have uh, a semi-stock class as well as a modified feature. So tons of cars in that semi-stock and the, and the modified has a, a few as well. So it's going to be something to watch for sure, that semi-stock anyway, for sure. Semi-stock and modified, pretty similar in rules. There's just a, a difference in um, some protectors and like hump plates and stuff like that. Right. I guess there was a few overbuilt that showed up that didn't get to run here today but at least they were fair and stuck to the rules well yeah you know i i've heard that, that this derby had a reputation for sort of um what they call being a load fest or whatever you know you just bring whatever you want and, that's the and, words that i heard too um, and that you know stuff sort of got through but they've changed up their inspection crew here they got some other people helping out uh cory buddy who just won urban destruction last week uh, he's helping with the inspection that's a great shot right it there. was um, and Corey is serious about derbies. He loves derbies. Right. So he wants things to go well. And he was serious about inspection. And he was serious about loading stuff if it wasn't right. So Good for him. I think drivers were a little surprised by that because they came here expecting to just be able to run whatever they brought. Right, which is not fair to the, to the people that build their cars to the rules. Is that purple black car? Is that like a tourist wagon? Remember when they made those? Like Yeah. That's Which, what it looks like in the back, but I don't know. Purple and black one. Uh, on the very corner of our screen there on the right. Oh, yeah, I couldn't tell because they kind of crushed the back of the roof down a little bit. I couldn't quite see what it was. shot yeah that was right on the passenger wheel it was laid it right over too broke his front bumper in the process oh so. i think we got a killer custom dirty parts and transmissions red flag on the track Lot of drivers climbing out this time during this flag. You see just people everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's like it would be over if everybody climbing out of their cars. We're down to what? Less than ten, right? I think. We'll see what happens when we go back to green here because so many people climbed out.
like 15 or 16. Yeah, I just counted 14. Everything's still sort of moving around out there. Someone's definitely working their throttle hard, Steve. I can't figure out which one it is yet, but. Somebody who's upset. Starting to narrow the field down. Oh, what a good shot. Oh. That red Monte Carlo just laid the front bumper right into the core support. Broke the cap off or broke the actual top of the radiator on that thing. And there she blows. They're just reaching for their helmet. Hey, it's 6.03. Yeah, did you just let out a big old yawn? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> Why would you think that? 6.03 is a good number. Is it your derby number? It's my dad's derby number. Awesome. Calling me out on a yawn. Gee whiz. <laughs> Well, you got a you pick yet, Jody? You know, I was watching the green and the black car. This double, double zero right yeah, here? Yeah, I like it. I like it. But this orange and black car is also, I am wondering if they're together. They're painted similar, but yeah. they both look like good cars, and they've protected the noses. As you can see, neither one of them has really used them, so 
I, I don't know what it is. I was trying to figure out, but there's a teal and black car on the back side of the center of the track there. Yes. Can't quite tell what it is, but I just like the look of it. Yeah, the truck threw me off. I couldn't tell what it was either. And it's got an odd shaped back. Yeah. The window in the back it looks different. Another red flag. Got some, maybe. Yeah. Bumper. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. You gonna go over there and break him off for that? I wouldn't think so. I don't think he did it on purpose. He didn't know he was there. big piece of pipe right there on the lane yeah. on the track. I'd be more interested in getting that picked up than that piece of that other thing yeah. that he had picked up. That would that would worry me a little more. That's the 48. I don't have a 48 on my list either. They were still uh they were still coming in as we were getting our list, so that some of the some of the guys didn't make it onto our version of the driver's list. Right. That must be heavy. Or still attached. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was a car over there. Shambles welding red flag. Back to green. So Jody, this this show here, good shot there. This show we're uh, we're doing free for our subscribers. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just kind of a way that we're trying to give back a little bit to our subscriber audience, and then uh, those are the people that uh, are signing up for the first time to see this show. We appreciate you being here with us, and make sure that you're taking advantage of our full library of all of our past events, plus like top tens and. Uh, driver interviews, tech tips, all kinds of good stuff. Looks like we got a log or something on the track right now. It could be a bumper, but it looks like a piece <laughs> of wood. They're going to throw a flag for that. That's uh, that's really cool for Derby Tees to do that, knowing that there's been a lot of derbies canceled that they would have been able to watch. And so they've not maybe got their money's worth is maybe why this is really nice to be. Well, you know, uh, with everything else going on with, with COVID, we haven't uh, updated as much in the library as we were doing over the last uh, months before, you know? Right. So, um, you know, we, we were trying to get as much as we can out there for the, for the people that are watching. And um, we were trying to get kind of back into the swing of things, getting with drivers and doing uh, shop talk interviews and stuff like that. That's really fair. So it's tough to social distance at someone else's shop and come and do their interview. And right, stuff, right. Know? You know, to, uh, to a few of the shows that still have them, it's been kind of a blessing. The COVID has because, you know, it's made them have a little better car count than what yeah. they normally would have. But I don't know if you can say anything about the COVID's a blessing. <laughs> it's kind of a nuisance. No, it definitely is. And, it, you know, it, it just is what it is. We have It's something we have to deal with for a while. Right. You know, it's not going away anytime soon either. So, um, you know, it, it has helped some of the shows because guys didn't have anywhere to run for a while and right. they're crazy and they wanted to get out and run. So, certainly affected our season quite a bit. But I think we've, I think we've come up with some some good shows yeah. over the course of the Absolutely. season so far. There's a it looks like September or in August too. The end of August, September looks like it's going to be full. So it, it'd be fun to see where everybody goes. six cars still running i think uh, that's what i think so too but i always i always count and then i see one moving so i then think i'm off um so the, our next stop is the prequel is that where you'll be next yeah that is right 
Pre prequel to the King. Portland, Indiana, Labor Day weekend. Yep. Triple D Promotions, I've seen, was getting all that information out, so that'd be a good one. Two days of yeah. action, looks like. They have such a cool thing going on, too, with their with their format that they're doing. They call it the format, you know? It's like, I don't know if you if you followed any of that. Well, I watched the video, and um, I was reading, and I seen where somebody was asking about being inspected late, and he said that, what, that he was not going to have his inspectors out, you know, trying to inspect cars for two or three days and right. go on very little sleep. So that was a cool idea, just to have them all inspected and, and be done with it. Yeah. The, well, the, what for, is the, the format? format is like a way that they're trying to change up the action of the derby a little bit by making it more aggressive and faster paced. Okay. So say there's like nine cars in the heat. Uh -huh. Say, you know, me, you, and Mark are the first three to pull on the track. Well, when we pull on the track, we reach in a bucket, we grab out two numbers. And those two numbers are our targets. Ah. And for us to make the feature, we have to take out those two cars. That's awesome. So so say there's nine cars or whatever, and I go after my two cars, and I take out those two cars right off the bat. Then you and get then to I'm go. Then I'm already off the track and in the feature, even if there's still seven cars still running. That's really awesome. So it, it's a cool, cool setup, and it changes things up in your driving style quite a bit. Yeah, for real. So how does that affect how many that they take out of the heat? I think, I don't know how they just decide how many they're taking, so they take three. It's the first three drivers to, to eliminate their, their cars targets. Out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That brings some pressure then to the driver because you want to be at least one of the three that. Yeah. And it's not just a matter of surviving to the end; it's a matter of being aggressive and right. taking out your target or whatever. But there's, don't forget, your number was drawn by somebody too. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Woo! Good shot there. Yes. My goodness. Didn't see that coming. That was one of the rakers that, that took that shot. Curtis rakers in the 22, I think. It's a tough roof sign to read on the orange and black car, having a hard time with it. Nice shot. Looking to break an axle. kind of car this steel black thing is. I think it's a old style Toyota. I really can't tell. That back window that really messes, I don't know. Like a like a 79 or 80 Celica or something. Really? That old? I, I don't know. I just it just sort of reminds me of that, you know. It's really held up. Oh. Curtis Riker's doing some pushing. Meanwhile, the 48's just teeing off. Riker stalled. He was looking for that front wheel shot. Now, I'm not sure about that roof sign either. I thought I was going to try to help you, but I'm not sure what it's, it is. It's just too too shiny to get the number off it. I think we might be about down to five, four. four? 22 looks like he's stalled out here. Yeah, he's been trying to fire, but not, not helping him out at all. Down to two. 
You might need to get out there. Okay. Stick goes down on the number two machine. I think we're officially down to just two cars. A lot of steam out of this one here. He's laying on the 48, pushing him into the pile of dead cars. Now it's going to shut off. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Shuts it off and just hits the start button with the ignition switch off. It all won't start, but then as soon as the 48 moves, then it starts right up and he's able to go after him again. Seventy three of Maples. Oh, 73 stalled again. Refired immediately. As we're nearing the end of this compact feature here, I want to say thanks to Jeffy Fab Farm for providing us this live look in, giving you a taste of the action here at Brownstown, Illinois, the Fayette County Speedway. Still got more action to come, still got a modified feature, a semi stock feature, all kinds of good stuff to see. So if you want to uh, join us on DerbyNation.tv, you can subscribe and uh, watch the show tonight. Take advantage of all of our online content for just $19.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Forty-eight just has to outlast the seventy-three of Maples. It's getting hot and keeps stalling. It's going to come a time where it won't refire. Forty-eight showing a little bit of heat there too.
Something happened on the 48. It revved but didn't move the wheels. Shifter broke, maybe? Yeah, something, something broke in the shifter or the transmission. Nice job by the 48 and the 73. This gray area demo parts compact feature over and done with. These guys put a good show on lots of cars out there. And once again, thanks Jeffy's Fab Farm for bringing us the live look in on Facebook. We got Jody Braden heading out to the track for the Jeffy's Fab Farm on track interviews. See who she can grab, grab out there and get some inside, inside insight. What a race, right? Yeah, I'd say that's my first win. Really? Yep. How long have you been driving? Two years. Really? Well, good job, but you had a lot of competition, I hear. Yes, I did. A lot of hard competition. You have enough car to go someplace else with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. A little bit of work. He'll be ready. Where about you from? Uh, Greenville, Illinois. Really? Yep. Well, good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Jody Braden with the Jeffy's Fab Prime on track interviews. There's a whole bunch of drivers down there. She's trying to sort out who to go to. Maybe we'll find out what kind of car that blue and black car was. Maybe she'll ask, I'm not sure. There. We need to know what kind of car that is. This one? Okay. It's a gold flag and gold. Oh. Yes. Hey there, second place, what's your name? Colt McGuire. We gotta know what kind of car is this. Uh, the same thing he's got, a Chevy Lumina. <laughs> yeah. I got a 94 or something like that. No. We've been trying to figure it out, and we wouldn't have guessed that. Well, he figured it out. I didn't, as well, you can tell. Well, you put up a good fight. You say there's some parts down here of yeah. yours. I sped, I sped a shaft out. Stuff happens. Man, and him build cars together, best friends. You know, couldn't, couldn't have ended any better than that. So. Well, that's awesome. You did a good job, and we uh, appreciate you coming. Thank you. Thank you. For Volkswagen Golf. We caught him on camera before he uh, before he tried to slip one by us. Get a little ski ink damage cam here. We'll show you some of the action. Show you how things went here. Ski Inc. damage cam on the track once again. Uh, thanks everybody who joined us on Facebook. If you like what you're seeing there, you can always join us on DerbyNation.tv. Get a subscription to watch the event here tonight as well as all of our online content. We appreciate you being with us on Facebook. Thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for providing that. The rest of the night will be available on DerbyNation.tv. We'll see you there. Triple zero a row cliff there. You can see his headers are bent over on that thing.
interesting front bumper on that thing. A couple of pieces of Schedule 40 pipe and just a random, random skin over the top of it to make it look like a bumper. That's going to do it for the Ski Inc. Damage Cam. We appreciate their support. Make sure you're checking out their website at ski-inc.com. And also check out their Facebook page. Give them a like. I, I think it's semi-stock up.